Whether or not the famous Guinness beers was an original Irish brewery or not, it's a fair run of company now with the sun hieroglyph on the harp as I've shown you in my film The Pharaoh Show with 13 parts on the harp and number 13 for the phallus and obelisks being the biggest just as the pharaonic harp in the Royal British coat of arms. And with that Freemason chain of the Alliance, all for one and one for all. Unus pro omnibus omnes pro uno. As on the ceiling of the Swiss Nazi Templar Parliament and chain as on the Bernese main police station with one big oval at the top as in the Oval Office for Seth or Sethon, the Lord of Darkness. Again, number 13. Pairs for Isis and Horus and main, many small rings in pairs of four from the number four of the four elements and base of the pyramid together with three adding up to seven, the holy number for Pharaoh. As a result of the Isis, Horus and Seth, not so holy trinity all together framed into a golden oval of the Vesica Pites, as the oval in the Oval Office. So there we can see that the whole thing has the form of an oval, which is part of the Vesica Pites. It's all occult, yeah? So here's the harp, and here it has, in between the strings, it has one, two, three, well, you can believe me or count it, 13 parts in between. And the big th part is, of course, the part they never found again. That's why it's bigger here. And this is why, because they, after they cut Osiris in 13 parts, they created the obelisk and the phallic. So here we can see here the, uh, the sun hieroglyph, as in my film The Pharaoh Show with the round thing in the middle and here again a couple of times here so this is without any doubt pharaonic the harp is probably a pharaonic instrument so around it we can see the whole chain the funny thing is it's got everywhere two big chains and um, four, four little rings so two big two pairs of two and a lot of pairs, um, yeah, and I counted them around. And the two pairs, they are 13 all around. You can count it yourself. And everywhere there are two big ones. And only here on top, there's one big one. And this together is three. So the big one is Seth, or Seton, or Satan, the Lord of Darkness. And here the two small ones, that's Isis and Horus. And if there's a number three, that also must be the number four of the base. So this is the side of the pyramid, three, the holy, not very holy trinity. And here's the number four. It's always the same yeah, for the, uh, the four elements. And it goes all around. And that means we are a chain. And you stupid Europeans and stupid humanity, you always stand alone because you're too stupid to organize. There's always, you know, like, like 20 queers in uniform coming up, coming after you, you know, and come to arrest you. <laughs> what do you want to do if you're standing alone? This is why humanity is always losing. And it, I mean, it's all here. It's all, it's all, it's all pharaonic. It's occult. And um, well, wake up, Gaelic people. Wakey, wakey, eh? And here I, you know, I count them for you. There are the big ones around Seth here. That's that's the main the main man. And here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, what do you know? The same as on the harp, which we'll find at the coat of arms of the British Royal Empire of Pharaoh. I'm tired of showing it all the time, so you look it up yourself. Uh, I've already shown it, you know. 
So it's always, it's, it's pharaonic. It has nothing to do with Ireland or the Celtic people. Uh, the Celtic people, well actually you can say both, both Celtic or Celtic, it's the same thing, it's both um, accepted officially. Mostly in, uh, in Britain in, or in Scotland, you know, we say Celtic and the Americas and the, uh, uh, it's being pronounced Celtic. And Celtic, of course, is the more Latin way of pronouncing it. Yeah. So this has nothing to do. I mean, there's nothing to do anymore with uh, Europe or Europeans or the Celts or you know nothing at all. Once the company and recipe was probably original Irish, but if you make your own company, Pharaoh will have you sweat day and night for it for about 40 years and in the end you'll end up with a divorce, a broken family and a cancer because of having been married more to your own company than to your own wife. And in the end Pharaoh will take and seize your enterprise too with dirty laws, Freemason lawyers and states corruption because we were meant to be their slaves and not the other way around. The same for going into politics, also known as politrix, which is their game only, risking your life if you do so too. Guinness, not really from Ireland, and a Catholic state where Catholics voted a few weeks ago this year in 2015 that two males can get married and adopt children, making this Irish flag the latest symbol of the homo agenda. Well, cheers to y'all, or should I say slonger? Go toast your pharaonic beer on that marriage between two geezers, but up with my blessing, you hear? And you dare to call yourself Celtic, Celtic or Gaelic? Well, I'm getting a pretty good idea now what you've meant with gay lick up to now. Gay and lick what's under your kilt, an old pharaonic skirt. Look, it looks like a funeral, it looks like a coffin with a flag over it. And where's the IRA now, eh? It's all been inf infiltrated by Pharaoh to play people out against each other. Maybe the Protestants and the Catholics will find something in common to find the enemy within. Talk your law. Bolivia's president Evo Morales once said that eating chicken, chicken and swallow it down with a lot of beer makes you queer because of the injected growth hormones in the chickens and the hops in the beer. I didn't realize this being so true to such an extent. Why are you Gaelic? Go gay, lick your Guinness and be careful with whom you get drunk with. Now what's wrong with you guys? What happened to Chokyarla?